86 glowing meat steaks. Time to go hunting again. I really like to build in uh, Fallout 4. Some of you might have seen the, the couple of videos I put out here. And, and I, don't know, I don't go too crazy with it, but I really enjoy it. And I, I got back into Fallout 76 and I'm laughing because I understand the negative connotation around 76 because of its disastrous launch. There's like this, this little bit of shame that comes with uh, admitting that you actually like this game. All right? And I've tested games since you know, about 2003, alpha and beta tested, and this was the most buggy piece of shit uh, on launch that, that I've ever seen. But still, somehow, I had an incredible amount of fun with the misses playing it. And it's like our favorite game, aside from EverQuest Online Adventures. And, yeah, it's just... I, I come back to it, I find out they've got this building mechanic, and I'm hyped. And, and the weird thing is I didn't even know the mechanic was in the game for, like, three days or something like that. Because I was so busy catching up with all the different updates. I haven't played since Nuka World on tour. You know, you got the caravan stuff, Atlantic City. You know, they piled on a decent amount of stuff since then. And this game has never really gone exactly the way I want it to. I want to see more story DLC, like with Steel Dawn. I'd love for them to, you know, get the Enclave in there, build up the story with them, different factions, you know, start fleshing out the story it, it never has truly gone the way that i want it to and i think the majority of the fan base feels the same way but i was really hyped to see that there was building in it because like i said i like to build as you might be able to tell by the images on your screen and i noticed that they had the uh, ability to share builds and I, I thought wow this is this is perfect i've wanted this for forever man people come into my camp all the time and they thumbs it up and they do, you know, they do that emote that they like your camp and whatnot. And I've always wished that there was a way where people could leave likes or, you know, just something permanently in the game, something fixed within the game that was like a system. And, and lo and behold, I I was playing for like three days before I realized, hey, there's this thing called best builds, and I didn't look it up or anything. And people would come into my camp and thumbs me up, and I'd look and check my best builds, and there was no thumbs. Nobody was liking it, and I couldn't figure it out. And, you know, like like the nub that I am with looking up things, <laughs> I'm not very good at that. I just figured, well, I don't know, maybe they can't be bothered. And they just come in and they buy stuff and they leave. But you can't leave likes on a camp that is active. I had no idea that basically Bethesda makes like a, a copy of your camp and then just randomly dumps it onto a server somewhere. Even a private server. Even a, pub, a private world that you have to have fallout first and nobody's going to see it because whenever you go into a private world you're just completing daily challenges or doing something you're very you're very focused on what you're doing and then you go back to a public world so so now i understand why nobody's really leaving any likes on the nuka barn here and i mean you know it's not it's not like an amazing build but i think it's pretty cool i like it i, I call it home i spent a lot of time and i had to rebuild it by the way uh, because I thought I was going to be a smartass and build it before Nuka World on Tour came and I messed up the boundaries. <laughs> I wanted to have it as close as possible. And then once they, they launched Nuka World on Tour and, and the PTS, it didn't line up. They must have expanded the territory of, of Nuka World on Tour and I had to rebuild the whole damn thing over again. I actually made a video of me uh, remaking it and sped it up if you guys want to take a look at that. But yeah, I like this camp. And I know there's a lot of people that come into the, to this camp and they like it, but they can't leave a like on it. I have to like win the RNG lottery like I do with, <laughs> with drops and, and everything else in, in the game, right? <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's, it's not really happening. And then I noticed another problem is that it costs caps to travel to these camps. And I've checked a few of them out. And I just thought it was weird. The first one I went up to, oh, man, their vendor's not. I guess they just switched off their vendor or something. I went to another one. Oh, the vendor's not working. Wait, vendors don't work? No. No, vendors don't work in best build camps. It's just a copy of the camp, so they can't buy anything. And if they could, I wouldn't want them to because then, you know, it would create a lot of problems. Sometimes you want to turn your camp off. You're, you're maxed out on caps because everything has an artificial ca uh, cap in this game to keep you coming back. <laughs> And, uh, 
it, it, it's just one of those things. It, it feels like everything else that Bethesda has done for the past decade, and and with this game, it's 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 yeah, there's a great idea there, but it's poorly executed. It seems like a theme with them. Almost every time, <laughs> every time they come up with something, it's like yeah, that's a pretty good idea, and then the execution is just like the worst possible way you would imagine it going. I don't know what it is with these guys. But yeah, how about uh, you don't have to, to pay caps to, to travel to it? Th that makes sense, right? I mean, a lot of people don't want to spend caps if they're not going to get something out of it. If there's no vendor and they're not going to come away with a rare plan that they've been looking for or an outfit or something, they're probably not going to spend caps on it. Now, I've got a build. i got the Mothman Museum. I, I built this. The Mothman gift shop, rather. Sorry. I built this years ago, okay? And I haven't really upgraded it or anything. It's just kind of standing out here in the mire. And nobody ever comes out to the mire. It's not... There's nothing over there that's really interesting for anybody. I don't even think, I don't even think there's a fast travel option up there that's free. So nobody ever goes over there. But it has the creepiest atmosphere in the game. At least before weather machines, right? So this is pre-weather machines. I came out here because it's dark. At night, it's really dark underneath these trees. And it makes the lights look really cool. It, it just creates this awesome atmosphere. Nobody comes out here. So I was thinking, well, I want to make the I want to get into the Halloween build. One of the things I love about Fallout is it's perpetually stuck in Halloween. Because, you know, the bombs came down just like the Division. It's like perpetu perpetually Christmas time. Right? Like the, the Christmas decoration should have came down a month ago. But everybody's sick and dying, so nobody cares great atmosphere and you know it's just something i the fall rolls around i'm thinking i want to get into fallout and i want and i definitely want to get into this halloween building thing and then i realize nobody's going to come up here and this is where i want to build like this is the spot it's just awesome out here for that, that that's the perfect kind of build but no if i were to build some pile of junk in an area with high traffic it's going to get more likes and part of the reason for that is that in all of their <laughs> genius in all of their in intellect they decided that they were going to have daily and weekly challenges that tell you to vote up camps now what do you think what do you think people are going to do do you think that people are doing their challenges they're going to be like hmm let me find the best one i possibly can or they're just going to say screw this i'm just going to like the first thing i can and move on to the next challenge so you've got all these garbage tier camps, okay? And a lot of these are just lol camps, right? People just trolling, being stupid. They put like a sleeping bag on the ground or whatever, and they call it a best build. And they're spamming the shit out of everybody else who's legitimately busting their ass on builds. So there's like no incentive for me to even get into the Halloween competition this year and I don't see how anybody can really feel differently about that. <laughs> and, and this system, it's just a mess. Like, I don't understand what they were thinking, man, you know? I, there, are, there are so many different ways to take this and do it right. Like, for example, if, you're gonna, if you have to make a copy of the camp, right? And I kind of understand why they did that. Because some people can't be online all the time or whatever. So if it spreads it around, more people might see it. But then why have caps? as a thing why why do people have to pay caps see in my opinion i think it would have been smarter to just have people come into your camp and like it when you're there when you're online i don't know maybe that's just me maybe you guys can tell me your thoughts about that in the comment section should they make copies of this stuff and just make it free to fast travel there or should they just have it when you're online people can come and visit your actual camp <laughs> I, I couldn't figure it out. I was getting frustrated. I'm like, how come people are coming into this camp? They clearly like it. I see them checking out every aspect. They're stopping and looking at everything, and I'm not getting any likes. What's going on here? It just makes you feel like shit. And then I realize, oh, well, that's just the way that they implemented it, which is absolutely ridiculous. I think it should have an upvote and a downvote option. And, and there's something about our, our modern times the modern uh audience meme right where they don't want any bad feels so there's no down votes on anything just give us an upvote and downvote option <laughs> that way all these ones that are spamming 
and they're just BS. People can downvote them and maybe they can have like an algorithm or something where it pushes those down. I, I, you know, yeah, sure, people could probably troll that, but you know, I don't really think that's going to be too much of an issue. It, it's just a bummer, man. I really like to build. I like to build in Fallout 4. I mean, I spend days modding Fallout 4 to get all the different uh, stuff for settlements that I want to build. I've got a, a couple more videos for you guys to check out. And I'm really, you know, I sit back at these. They're, they're gone now. They're long gone ever since, you know, the update and everything. Which is fine. I mean, th there's moments where I want to go back and visit them and they're gone forever. But I'll always have the videos. And then I'm inspired to, to build again. And, and you get better at it. It's one of those things, you know. It's kind of like playing a roguelike. <laughs> where, yeah. You lost everything, you have to start over, but you're all the more wiser for it. So the next time, it's going to be better. And I, you know, I've watched my builds kind of grow over time like that. I've gotten better at them. Whereas, you know, some of my my earlier builds, I look back and I kind of cringe. Uh, like the pool here, for example. It doesn't, you know, all the wood on the side doesn't really work. So I figured, well, I'll put stone in the next version. Of course, I never recorded that, so that's lost forever. But, you know, I can make it again. Point B, I know I'm just rambling now at this point, but it's uh, it, it's it's just one of those things, man. It, it's always, it's, it's so Bethesda-like for things to fall short. Like, it's so close to being awesome. But it's not. Because, yeah, it it's just this terrible system that doesn't work. It's not just one element that doesn't work either. It's all these elements put together. Oh, it's, it's not my actual camp? All right, fine, I guess make a copy of it. I don't know if anybody's ever visited it or if it's ever hit anywhere other than a private server, a private world rather. So I don't, I don't, but then you also have to pile on top of it the fact that people have to pay caps for it. <laughs> and then you pile on top of it the fact that people just randomly upvote stuff for daily and weekly challenges. And you can see how with all this crap piled on top of it, it's just garbage and useless. It's not, it's not worth your time, man. <laughs> And that bummed me out when I realized that. I was like, ah, oh, this sucks. So hopefully they can improve it over time and they can make it something that it's actually worth building into and it's worthwhile for people to come out and check it out. Or at least it doesn't cost them anything. Uh, because like I said, you know, most people aren't going to come and travel out to the mire over here in the middle of nowhere. They're not going to pay like, you know, 70 plus caps or whatever to, to drag their ass all the way out here. And they don't get anything out of it. They just get to look around real quick. You know, maybe take a, a couple of screenshots if, if it's if the mood takes them. But most times, no, they're not even gonna bother with it. So yeah, there's a lot of people that build in this community. It's it's a big deal. And uh it, it's just a shame that this is how it's been implemented. Hopefully they can improve it. Like the caravan system. Like I know there's a lot of people that hate the caravan system because it's basically like that one event. I can't remember. What, where you have to escout, escort the, the cows and you have to fight the sheep, Squatch or whatever. I can't remember what the name of that is. For some reason it escapes me. But you guys know what I'm talking about, right? People said, well, it's basically just that. And you're right. It basically is just that. Only they put it in a different area and it's only one cow instead of three and they don't piss you off by running off the path even though the pathing does get kind of broken um but anyways <laughs> the caravans could have been cool if they added i don't know they, they have to have a way to scale stuff depending on like your gear if they came out with a, like a gear score system somehow where the game can tell how geared up you are because it's extremely boring i run around with an auto axe and a uh, bloodied build and I just destroy everything that goes anywhere near my cattle, and I heal the cattle with the friendly fire uh, cards. <laughs> so I, I, that's never a challenge. It's extremely dull. And yeah, I don't know. It just seems like there, there's there's room for improvement here. Like this could be really awesome if they would put more legendary bosses, for example, that show up. Like you get lucky maybe one out of three times you'll have the bosses appear at the end and even then half the time they run away after somebody drops off the uh, the supplies in a box but anyway this isn't about that <laughs> this video isn't about caravan stuff but yeah it's just a good example of how that could have been cool if there was just a little bit more thought put into it and uh, I saw a video from a fella mentioning that some people like to destroy their structures just to make it look 
broken down now usually when i build i like stuff i, I don't know it's probably not the most lore friendly i like things to look new <laughs> and i'll even i'll even use mods like you see in this video where you know it it gets rid of the horrible looking ceilings and uh, and it just kind of cleans up some of the metal and whatnot so it doesn't look so old and rusted. It's one of those things, Fallout kind of drives me crazy because everybody's just living in filth perpetually forever. People don't do that, man. Like, they clean up, right? If, you, if you're going to build, a, a, like, a, a chemistry bench, it's probably not going to look like a pile of crap that's been sitting around for 200 years. But anyway, some people like to make these destroyed camps. And when they submit it, and it goes out to another server, all their stuff is repaired. So the, the broken down, destroyed, you know, lore friendly camp that they had in mind, that's not a thing. It's, <laughs> they can't do that. Do, does Bethesda, do they talk to the fans at all about anything? That's one of my questions for them. And if, you know, on the off chance that one of the, the developers should watch this video, yeah, right. You guys need to start reaching out to people, all right? And also, if you're watching this, where's the where's the arcade uh, creation club content <laughs> from Fallout 4? How come I don't have those arcade cabinets by now? Look, it's cool. You guys came out with all the Nuka Cade stuff, and I like the pinball machine that I missed, and I'll probably never have a chance to get again unless you put it in the shop for like a thousand atoms. But uh, it'd be nice to have that too. So yeah, I don't know. At, at this point, I feel like I'm just rambling on about all these thoughts I've got bouncing around in my head about Fallout. There, there's so many things about 76 that could be improved. And every time they bring out a system, th this is what it is. At first, it's like, oh, sweet. And then you actually get hands-on with it, and you're like, no. Nope. <laughs> it's like the last way I would personally implement this. And a great idea implemented in the worst possible way but now i want to kick it over to you guys down in the comment section let me know what you think about this if you like this remember to leave a thumbs up hit the like button subscribe click that notification bell god bless and i look forward to seeing you all in the next video